Hey, today I'd like to show you an upgrade that I just did for my 4020. This was kind of a winter project that I did. And what I've done is built a battery box for the battery switching from the 3ET type batteries that go over onto the saddle or underneath the saddle to this single truck battery. I was having problems with the two 3ET batteries on either side of the saddle. I was going through about a battery every year to every other year, so I decided for the price of the two $200 batteries, I'm going with one battery that costs about $185. And so starting from the bottom, I have this battery connected to a battery minder. This is just a standard one that I got on Amazon. And going up, I made this little port here. This ties into the battery on the positive and negative lead. I also added this start switch so I was having some battery drain issues. I decided to bypass all the battery drain issues and I put in this battery start switch from Flaming River. And it seems to work pretty well. Most of the stuff that I got to make this box I got from McMaster Car. I can add some of the part numbers down below. I have two of these locking clasps here. And then the cables that go up, all the cables that I got are from a website called Battery Cables USA. Looking in there, the one cable is just mounted to the same mount that the starter's mounted on. The other cable goes up and over to the starter. This has had the conversion to 12 volt system. Let's take off the front cover here. Gently. So, the way that this is wired is I have the positive lead coming from the starter down into this battery start switch. The battery start switch, it is rated at 1200 amps of initial and I think 800 continuous, so it wasn't going to be an issue providing power to this tractor despite the large amperage required. What I'm using is a 31 class battery 5ET or excuse me 5T and that's just a standard truck battery all local parts supply stores auto stores have this type of battery and for the for the negative side it just goes up and straight over to the starter post so I just wanted to show you this show you what I've done I used all standard mounting um, holes that were already on the frame of the tractor. I have two, one here, one here behind the battery, and another one here that's just standard carriage bolts. Then I have these these two, I think these are half inch or five sixteenths that go all the way through from the bottom side. From the bottom side on up. And the reason I couldn't do it from the top side is the, bat the, the screw was so long that it, it would have interfered with the intake manifold. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.